What is up, guys? Secretplot45 here with the first episode of Introduction to Trickshotting. This is for all you new players who want to get into trickshotting or you need help with your trickshotting. Uh, if you just want to get better at it and um, you want to hit more shots, you want to get into bigger clans, stuff like that, the series is aimed at helping you guys. Um, so yeah, this is all. This covers all of the basics of trickshotting. Uh, it's divided into five parts. Settings, timing, reloading, shooting early, and how to practice. Um, you can click on the screen, the corresponding areas of the screen, uh, to go to each specific part, or you can just watch the whole thing. Uh, I'm playing Black Ops 2 in this episode, but these tips will apply to any Call of Duty. So whether you're a Modern Warfare 2 guy playing Ghosts, uh, even MW3 or Black Ops 1, whatever it is, these will all um, help you. It's just uh, Black Ops 2 is the one that uh, made it the easiest to explain my points. So, yeah, um, if you have any questions about this episode or if you have an idea that you want to see in the next episode, leave it in the comments, please, and I will see you guys in five seconds. Wow. What is up, guys? So, as you can see, we're going to head in into the first part of the tutorial and that's going to be settings as you can see um, we're on black ops 2 right now but um, these settings will work for like any game so yeah first of all um, controller vibration um, this is kind of a preference but I would highly recommend you have it disabled it makes it easier to just focus on playing the game not have to worry about stuff stick layout um, I would leave default button layout have a, however you're going to want to move to tactical and the reason is it makes it a lot easier to do um first of all you can uh, drop shot easier and for those of you who don't know what drop shotting is that's like where you take a shot and then you can crouch and it makes it easier to get behind cover and do stuff like that and ghost so you can slide easier stuff like that and then the second reason is you can knife easier so you can do stuff like knife and swaps like that some some cool like that or if you have like a tack knife out, you can do something cool like that. So that's another setting. Um, sensitivity. This gets asked a lot. Um, I used to wonder about this a lot when I was a beginner trick shotting. Um, you always, always, only, always, <laughs> sorry, want to have it on the maximum, which is uh, in Black Ops 2 it's 14, in Ghost it's 20, and Modern Warfare 2 it's 10. Whatever the max limit is, like when you can't go any further like one is the lowest you want to have it on the maximum where it goes insane that's what you want uh target assist you want enabled um and this game doesn't do a whole lot but uh, it makes it a little bit easier um just to find people uh and the rest of this doesn't really matter uh and that's pretty much it for the settings so once you've got that um the the main main one you want to do is have um your sensitivity at max, but uh, tactical and uh, vibration help too. So yeah, that's part one. Alright guys, now that we have our settings down, um, we're going to move on to part two, which is called timing. So, um, a lot of people, when you start trickshotting, you're just kind of going randomly. Like, you just jump and like spin, and then you, like, you kind of hope for the best. And um, that's not how pro trickshotters do it, that's not how you're supposed to do it. What you do is you get your timing down. And uh, for those of you who don't know what timing is, it's the amount of time it takes you in air to get to where you want to be. Like, for example, okay, first thing you want to do is you want to get your 360 timing down. So say we're going to use this box over You know what? I'll use here. I'll use uh, here. I'll use B-bomb. So, like, if I do a 360, boom, I just landed on the B-bomb. So, essentially what this does for me is, like, okay, say there's, like, a guy at B-bomb. I can just go 360. And then boom, I just hit the bomb, you know. So once you get better at your timing, that's how how you gotta know where the guy is. Like if the guy is, and I'm gonna mess up my timing too. It's gonna be like the one time. All right, um, say the guy's here. Um, you want to spin and go shoot him. So boom, you just gotta find him and then no scope. And that wasn't even that that great of a timing. It's my first game on in a little while, but um, that's pretty much what you want to do. And then once you get better at that, you're gonna do 720 timing, which I'm bad at see like my timing's a little bit off there I was aiming for there and ended up shooting there so obviously if I'm shooting there I'm not gonna hit the guys over here so that's why you want to get your timing up good so first you want to start with 360s and then what you want to do is you want to do stop and stairs which is just 360 and then another 360 and then that's how you do it and um, you can do it for angles too like say if guys uh, there's a guy like right here at spawn shot boom I just nailed that box <laughs> And that's pretty much how you do it. 
and uh, you just get really good at that. And then once you really get crazy, you can do 1080s. And as you can see, my 1080 timing is not as great. But um, yeah, that is how you get your timing down. And another cool thing you can do um, when you're learning timing is like, like I said, you can stop and stare. But um, also, if you want to get a little bit more creative with your stop and stairs, you can do reversals, which is when you spin one way and then the other. And I'm really bad at these, so. Like that. And uh, that can look really cool. Um, if you do it right, it can make a shot look more complex. And uh, yeah, so that's it for the second. Okay, so now you've got your timing down. You've got all your settings rocked up. So now you're probably thinking you're ready to go into a regular match and start trick shotting. Well, you might be, but there's one crucial tip that threw me off for so long um, that I just recently have really started getting the hang of, and it's the reason I almost never hit shots before, and that is shooting early or not shooting at all. So there are two issues um, that people do that um, they, they feel like they're getting jewed. They're like, my timing's great, the guy was right there, why did my no-scope not hit? And uh, this is like one of the, oops, this is one of the main reasons people get really, um, I don't know, I guess annoyed with no scopes. So, um, one technique a lot of people do, and I'll go over this in a little bit of a later tutorial, but um, is they finish their shots with the reload. So when you shoot, you go and you press uh, reload at the same time. And you see it looks all cool. I do not need a reload. But as you can see in the, oh, my one. Uh, if you look in the bottom right hand of the screen, you can see that four. And that means I have four bolts left in my clip. Uh, normally I have five, so let me reload here. And, okay, now I want you to keep looking at that five, okay? I'm going to shoot and reload now. See, as you can see, it goes to, oops. Okay, as you can see, it went down to four. Um, that means I shot and reloaded, my bolts pulled back, I'm ready to shoot again, and, um... So, if I keep doing that shoot and reload thing, sometimes the bolt will not register, and uh, the number four will not change, and essentially what that means is, even though maybe the bullet went, like, right through him, the game says that you didn't shoot, so it's like you never even shot at all, you just, like, spun around and did that, and then you just, you didn't shoot at all. So, um, I'm gonna try to do it, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't, so, like, okay, see that time it worked? time it worked. Okay, it's gonna keep working. <laughs> I'm gonna try to find one time where it doesn't work. Okay. You might have to take my word for it, but... Okay. Um, you might just have to take my word for it, but trust me, guys. Um, it'll happen, and then the number just will not change, and your bullet won't register. And how to stop this is you need to reload all the way because that first bullet, that five, that will always reload. And as you can see, I'm out of ammo now. So another way to fix this is um, in most games you can pistol switch, which means instead of pressing square or reload after you shoot, you press Y or triangle. But that doesn't really work in this game. It doesn't show up. And then the other way is to silence shot, which is you... Um, this is getting a little bit complex, but you want to shoot and then equipment cancel right after, so like that. But uh, you also have to pull the bolt back up again, which is why most people prefer reloading. So yeah, and now uh, I'm going to respawn and then we'll get back to the other tip. Alright, so now that we know about that shooting and reloading thing, what we want to do is we want to make it so our bullet doesn't shoot early. So a lot of people uh, might... Uh, have a little bit of trouble. Um, the reason I picked Black Ops 2 to demonstrate a lot of these tips is because you can see you can see where the bullet trail goes. Like you can see that little like white streak, and you, you can see like where the bullet went. Like it went like somewhere over here. So uh, makes it very good to show this tip. And a lot of people will press um, their shoot button right after they start spinning. Uh, sorry, stop spinning. And um, like you could see. Um, if you slow that down, you probably could not see my white streak, and that's because I shot early. So, when you're finishing your timing, say, like, the guy, okay, we'll just make him down here, um, and you spin all the way and you shoot early, like, see how, um, I don't even know how to explain this. I was aiming for, I guess, over here, but, um, I shot early, so my bullet went over there. So, even though my timing was on, I shot too early, and, um... It, it wouldn't have hit the guy. It won't hit the guy. Um, and this can be a lot less obvious on other Call of Duties because um, Black Ops 2 is the one where it has the most obvious, you know, 
bullet trail. It's very easy and plain to see. Um, so if you're having a lot of trouble hitting shots, what you want to do is you want to wait. You want to wait for it. Oh, sorry. He joined my game. I'm going to mute him for now. I feel bad, but um, you want to, you just want to go and then wait. And as you see, when I wait, the shot goes right where I want to. So yeah, that is the two main tips. You always want to have a full magazine. Like if you see you're, you're at four, you want to reload and then you want to do your shot and then wait. That was way too long, but you, you kind of see what I'm saying. All right. So, you think you got all that down, you think you got your timing down, you're shooting early and stuff, so you're like, okay, well that's all cool, but how do I practice? So, Black Ops 2 has a very unique, um, kind of, hold on, <laughs> it has a very unique bot system, and it's a whole bunch of fun to use, and it makes it uh, really easy to practice trick shotting. and essentially what you have to do is you have to copy this uh, game mode settings, I'll, I'll link it into the description, I am dying a lot here, this is, do I have a, there we go. I have a class with tag insertion. And um, you want to copy down this mode. I'm, I'm linking a video in the description that gives you exactly the settings you need for the mode. Because I'm too lazy to go over it myself. And it's very easy to find on YouTube. Um, I believe there's tutorials Infrared68. He's a very, very helpful guy. And he has tutorials on a lot of his stuff. So if you're a new, new trick shotter, check him out. Um, essentially, what you want to do is you want to drag the flag to wherever you want... Um, the spot to be, I'm going to go for this suicide right here, and then change team, and the flag will drop. So I'm going to switch to the class I was using before, and I'm put my tack down because this is a suicide spot. And um, as you can see, the enemies will start to gravitate over to the area where the flag is. See how these guys are kind of moving over here? So if you want to go for a shot like um, on these guys and on a specific spot, just put the flag down where you want it, and then go for a shot and then you can just keep doing it when you end, uh, until you hit it I'm gonna try to hit one really quick but um basically part of the reason this is so nice is because um uh, because it's caption flag you can go for suicides like if it was search and destroy and you have like a friend it's kinda hard to go to suicides because um if you mess up you have to like restart the whole round over but here you can just go to your heart's content and um so it's a great way to practice your timing you can practice uh, like a really hard shot I'm not going for a hard shot right now and I just completely messed up, but um, you can see the idea. Um, I'm just <laughs> trying to hit one quick so I can show you how to end it. So you can pretty much practice to your heart's content. And uh, for example, if you want to move the flag, just change back teams. Oh, um, also, this isn't in the settings of the uh, video that infrared linked, I don't think. But um, you want to make sure you have friendly fire on because if uh. Hold on. This trick will still work even if you're on the other team. Like, you see the bots are still over here, so I can still, like, go for shot. That was a horrible shot. I can still go for stuff, but as you can, as you just saw, they will kill me. So, they can kill me. They'll destroy my attack. They just will just generally not be nice people. And, um, so if you want to move the flag, you just take it. Back over, I guess I'll switch it to here. Um, and then you can go over here. Wait for them to kind of conjugate over there. Set your attack insert. You don't even have to use attack insert. Um, if you like, if you put it um, somewhere like I don't know, maybe in this control room, uh, you and you're not doing suicides, you can just go for your shot and not have to worry about it. But um, yeah, pretty much. I'm just gonna fast forward until I hit a shot and then show you how to end it. Okay, so you, as you can see there, I hit a kind of bad shot, and all you want to do is just wait like a couple seconds, and then end the game. And uh, as you should see now, boom, kill cam comes up. And there you go. So that's how you practice on Black Ops 2. Now, um, if you want to practice on other Call of Duties, you're going to have to get some friends to go and uh, dummy for you, which essentially they just stand in a certain spot and uh, set up for you. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions about this episode or ideas for more episodes, leave them in the comments below. If I could ask you guys to leave a like for all the hard work I put into this video, uh, I would be really appreciative of that. It uh, really does help me out a lot. It makes me feel a whole bunch better about my life. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. But yeah, uh, if you guys could leave likes and comments on what you want to see in the series, that I would really appreciate it. So yeah, I will see you next time, guys. Secret out.